In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually use ChatGPT to review a construction contract. And why might this be useful? Well, imagine you're tendering a new project and a client's issued you a draft form of contract. Instead of spending hours going through it, you can actually get ChatGPT to read and summarize key points. You can ask it questions about the contract and you can get it to tell you where the risky clauses are, where the things you should worry about, or you could even set specific limits yourself or get it to look for specific clauses. So ChatGPT is incredibly good at reading and processing large amounts of data. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can upload a contract to ChatGPT and what sorts of questions you can ask it and what sort of information you can get it to give you. I've got an example contract here and it's around 77 pages long. So it would take quite a while to digest and go through. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it drop it into ChatGPT, and then I'm gonna prompt ChatGPT what I want it to do with the contract. So I'll tell ChatGPT, I'm working company. Started. This purchase. So what I've prompted ChatGPT to do is I've told it I'm working on a construction project, tendering a new contract. Our client has provided a draft form of contract and we need to prepare a list of departures that we're gonna submit with our tender submission. And I've told ChatGPT act as a commercial manager and identify 10 clauses to pose the most risk. Then you send it to ChatGPT, ChatGPT is gonna review the document and advise 10 clauses it thinks the most risky. So based on the data draft contract provided, here are 10 clauses that pose significant risk, risks and should be included in your departures list. So insurance of the works. The clause requires a contract of insurance but does not provide a cap on the liability. Failure to produce proof of insurance. Latent conditions. So it says the contractor is responsible for identifying and dealing with latent conditions, which can lead to significant unexpected costs and project delays. That's definitely one we'd want to identify and depart from. If when the client, when we've been tendering the work, if we're not unaware of certain conditions, then we definitely want to flag that we're not going to be responsible for them. There's liquidated damages, delay damages, a defects liability period. So basically it's just gone through the contract and quite quickly picked out 10 clauses that as the contractor pose risk for us. In addition to providing us a list of departures, we can also ask ChatGPT questions about the contract. So what does the contract say about consequential loss? And ChatGPT is gonna review the document and it's gonna provide the answer from the contract. So it's identified that the contract specifically mentions consequential loss in the context of insurance and liability. And here are the relevant excerpts. So it talks about insurance of the works. So your insurance can exclude consequential loss. And it doesn't limit our liability for consequential loss. So again, it's like you can ask ChatGPT questions about the contract and it'll actually provide you expert advice and direction on how to review it. And you can even take it a step further where, for example, if you don't really understand what consequential loss is or you don't understand what some of these key terms are, you can just ask ChatGPT, what is consequential loss? Why does it matter on construction projects? Explain in two short sentences. So consequential loss refers to indirect damages that occur as a result of a breach or failure, such as a lost profits or business disruption. 
It matters in construction projects because such losses can be substantial, leading to significant financial impacts beyond direct damages. And so even if you don't really have a good understanding of construction contracts, ChatGVT can actually help explain and walk you through the process. And so I'm not saying it's a replacement for skilled commercial people. It's obviously nowhere near good enough for things like that, but you can definitely use it to make speed up contract reviews and make your life easier as a construction manager if you don't have a good technical or commercial know-how.